But what's fun about induction, everything is getting hot in the pan except for the glass cooktop. So my hands can be right here, we can spatter grease or pasta water, and nothing's gonna burn or cook to the cooktop, so it's very easy to clean. But it's also very fast, very efficient, and it heats up really efficiently because of that magnetic connection. After our crash course on everything Electrolux laundry, we went to lunch, where chefs Adam and Joseph taught us all about Electrolux ovens and cooktops while preparing lunch right in front of us. Lunch began with a beautiful and delicious roll and fancy butter. You know your butter's fancy when it includes greenery. We're really just kind of utilizing all of the equipment here. So the total convection, the induction cooktops, you know, low temperature, high temperature cooking. And we'll talk a little bit about that, but we don't want to bore you to death with kind of the, the nuts and bolts of it all. But throughout lunch, we'll kind of explain to you what we're doing and how we're cooking things, we're finishing things. So what we did was in the total convection setting, you can see I've got about air sous vide. What I can do also, so a very low temperature cooking, what I can also do is that with, instead of air sous vide, I can go down and do dehydrate. So if I set it on hydrate, I can drop the oven temperature very low, slowly kind of coerce more and more flavor out of the tomato. So these have been going for about two hours at about 145 degrees. A little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic, so nothing crazy, but some of that water that's kind of dulling the flavor is gonna kind of reduce out and you'll get like a little bit more of an intense flavor of tomato. Is everyone familiar with burrata cheese? I had thought I was familiar with burrata cheese. In fact, I was not, but it and the salad were delicious. Then Chef Joseph started rolling out pasta to make ravioli while Chef Adam taught us about induction cooktops. We can go all the way up to power boil. It's about a quart and a half of water. It's gonna heat up really, really quick on power boil. So this will boil in probably about a minute. But what's fun about induction, everything is getting hot in the pan except for the glass cooktop. So my hands can be right here, we can spatter grease or pasta water, and nothing's gonna burn or cook to the cooktop, so it's very easy to clean, but it's also very fast, very efficient, and it heats up really efficiently because of that magnetic connection. So basically, I'm kind of bouncing around, but induction specifically is you're creating a circuit of energy. The pan connects the circuit, so if the pan's not there, the circuit isn't complete, so oh, nothing wow. happens. If I were to come over here, I've got little kids, and they come over here and they start hitting buttons and turn a bunch of stuff on, and there's no pan there, nothing will happen. It'll stay completely cold, it'll beep at you a couple times, or it might blink, depending on which one you're using, but nothing's gonna heat up until you put the pan down. So as the pan sits there and connects, it's creating that circuit, and you can already start to see Things are starting to kind of roll around a little bit in there and you see a little steam coming up. So it's gonna come up to a boil very, very quickly, but I can keep my hands right up against that pan. I can actually put a layer of, like some people put like a $20 bill under there and they'll boil water, or fries, potato chips or whatever it is because that paper on the induction cooker is kind of fun, but it also doesn't heat up and burn. So really kind of a cool thing. And no, induction cooking isn't magic. It's science, fast science. About a minute it takes for these to boil. Well, I've already pre-done some, so I'll just keep these up. While I don't remember what they said was in the ravioli or the sauce, I know it was a take on carbonara. What I do remember is that it was absolutely delicious. But that was nothing compared to the next course. And you can see how quick the sea bath and the oil, everything heats up. That, that, that pan was, you know, off a second ago. And I'm gonna create just a little bit of a sauce to kind of cover the fish with. Sea bass, mashed cauliflower, and oven-roasted sweet potatoes. You ever have a really overcooked piece of fish and it like squeaks a little bit? I call it squidgy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think that's the issue. People are like, oh, I don't I like that. I hate that texture. But with the air sous vide, I mean, pretty much all seafood, it cooks perfectly at 145 degrees. I'm gonna be honest, in most cases, I hate cauliflower and sweet potatoes. The mashed cauliflower wasn't half bad, but the sweet potatoes, they were so good. After the main course, Chef Joseph's wife had made blackberry macarons filled with a white chocolate buttercream and blackberry jam filling. So of course they made a blackberry puree and lemon custard to complement. This actually, we just heat the cream up really delicately on the induction cooktop. 
you add the sugar in, you add the lemon juice in, and that's it, you cut it off. So it's a really kind of temperature sensitive custard because of that. And this was honestly my ideal dessert. Lemon flavored desserts are my favorite. I love macarons, I love lemon and berry flavor together, and for extra flair, it was even garnished with edible gold leaf. Oh yeah, she fancy.